The film Troy, shot in 2004, is considered one of the most epic historical films of the Zeros and for good reason. The list of leading roles includes such famous actors as Peter O'Toole, Sean Bean, Brad Pitt, Orlando Bloom. At the box office, the film had excellent box office receipts, half a billion dollars, with a budget of $175 million. But screenwriter David Benioff and director Wolfgang Peterson were very free with both the original text and the historical realities of the XI century BC in which the events of the Trojan War unfolded. According to the plot of the film, the Trojan War began because of the sudden love between Paris and Elena. Elena asks Paris to save her from Menelaus, who forcibly took the unfortunate girl to Sparta. Elena had never liked this country and was glad to get out of it. However, in Homer, Helen herself was the daughter of the king of Sparta, and Menelaus became the ruler of the Spartans only after marrying her. The film also presents Menelaus as an evil old man, although in the poem he was young and beautiful, and Elena of Sparta chose his best young men who gathered for the viewing from all over Greece. Agamemnon in Troy is a conqueror who wants to enslave all of Greece. But the Greek kings of that era ruled polis, cities, with the surrounding area, which completely suited them. No one sought to create empires. Also in the film, Agamemnon wants to take over Thessaly, in which the mercenary Achilles assists him. In the original version, he was the ruler of Thessaly. Before a duel with the best Thessalian warrior, Achilles talks about how good it would be if the kings themselves fought in the war and did not send soldiers to the slaughter. And after all, it was good. In the Iliad, for example, the kings, including Achilles, king of the Myrmidonians, fight at the head of their armies, which corresponds to the actual customs of the Bronze Age. The age of the characters and how their relationships are shown also raises many questions. In the film, Achilles is an experienced warrior, and his younger relative Patroclus is sent with him to the Trojan War. In the original, Achilles was 15 years old at the time. Patroclus is his senior comrade, who had already fought a lot by that time. And they were not relatives, but lovers, which was quite common among the ancient Greeks. In the film, Achilles loves Perseus, who for some reason was made the daughter of Priam. In the Iliad, she is the daughter of a priest and the wife of Meneth, ruler of the city of Lernus, allied to Troy. The Greeks took the city and killed Brizzi's entire family, leaving her to Achilles as part of the spoils. In the most recent Greek tragedies, Brizzi's actually falls in love with Achilles and mourns him after his death. But about some kind of love on the part of Achilles does not report any source. In the Iliad, the relation to Brizzi's is shown exclusively as property. The warriors of the rivals in three have unified weapons and identical armor, which in reality could not be. Even half a millennium later, every Greek hoplite bought their own armored shield and weapons. In the Bronze Age in Greece, there was no mass production of armor. They were made by individual craftsmen for individual orders. All the armor in the film is dull and rusty, covered with patina. Although in the Iliad, they are described as well-polished and shining in the sun. Homer's poem contains detailed descriptions of the main character's armor, but we won't see them in the movie. In this movie, the armor is purely fantasy, not related to either the original source or the real armor of the Bronze Age. In addition in the film, any weapon easily penetrates this armor, and it is not clear why they are needed at all. However, even the incorrect portrayal of the appearance, age and relationships of the characters, historical inaccuracies in the customs and equipment of the armies, these are all trifles with the most important difference between the film and the poem. There are no Greek gods in it at all. The main reason for Homer's war was the feud of the gods. It led to a quarrel between Aphrodite, Athena, and Hera over an apple with the inscription, The Most Beautiful, the same fruit that we know as the Apple of Discord, which was thrown to them by the goddess Eris. The gods took an active part in the siege of Troy and fought for both sides of the conflict. Achilles was invulnerable in battle because his mother Thetis, the daughter of the sea god Nereus, plunged him into the fire, according to another version, in the waters of the Styx, holding his heel. This heel was the only vulnerable spot on his body. It is in it that the fatal arrow that killed Achilles hits. In the film, this moment is shown, but not explained in any way. Why the heel wound suddenly became fatal for the hero, the viewer can only guess.